Good morning. It's Thursday, April 21st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Go Get Your Bucket, and our scripture is Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heaven. Praise Him for His mighty works. Praise His unequaled greatness. Praise Him with a blast of the ram's horn. Praise Him with a lyre and harp. Praise Him with a tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with strings and flutes. Praise Him with a clash of cymbals. Praise Him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, the psalmist makes no small, obscure point here. Everything that breathes is expected to offer praises to God with whatever noise we're capable. The problem isn't understanding that. More, it's a matter of pride or shame in the ability to do just that. There's an old saying which was more than likely coined to describe my singing ability. Quote, he couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. Well, my bride Elizabeth, who knows what she's doing with music, says, it isn't my voice, it's my ear. Well, I've got to disagree. How many people do you know that sing the Star Spangled Banner out of their ears? Well, anyway, when I do sing, it's one of three places. The car, when I'm driving alone, the shower, again alone, or church, and definitely not alone. Church, when my voice joins with all the other worshipers to offer heart's praise to our Lord. At such times, the other voices make a fine garment to cover my part, which sounds like two cats getting ready to fight to the death. My decades-long struggle with trying to sing on key, on pitch, to any degree acceptable to human hearing, started in church Christmas programs. <laughs> as soon as the first rehearsal ended, without fail, the director always found a wonderful non-singing part for me, like handing out programs or reading a verse, anything that did not include music. Once, long ago, and in a faraway galaxy, a music director in our church convinced me to solo one verse of When the Saints Go Marching In during our July 4th service. To this day, I'm certain he had a wicked agenda, something like, give him enough rope and he'll hang himself. <laughs> but the pianist was skilled. She knew me and played loudly. <laughs> In the spirit of good manners and lacking musical snobbery, the congregation applauded. Perhaps they were just glad I was finished. For you today, this confession about my lack of musical ability has a purpose. If I came close to describing your singing voice, you know who you are. We are definitely not alone by any means. But that didn't stop God from compelling the psalmist to emphasize it. Everything that breathes is the way he made the job description for singing his praises. So, go get your rusty old bucket of a voice, and let's just carry as much of that tune as God gives us strength. We'll make a joyful racket to the Lord, and to him it will be a sweet sound of symphony. Praise the Lord. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.